Hi, I'm Christina Cook. I'm Michaela Kloss. I'm Miles Gorder. And we decided to interview one of our classmates, Melissa, to see what it's like to live with IBS and a gluten intolerance um, daily so that we can know in our future careers what it's like to be the patients that we're actually diagnosing and working with. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm a student with irritable bowel syndrome and a gluten intolerance. What's it like to have irritable bowel syndrome? Irritable bowel syndrome, the actual syndrome, is a functional bowel syndrome that is a disorder that's defined as a discomfort or abdominal pain that occurs in association with altered bowel habits. So it's not very comfortable to have IBS. I don't really know exactly when I need to go to the bathroom. It kind of just happens and I know that 1 to 20% of the world population has this disorder. So it just feels like a lot of bloating and with my IBS I have diarrhea so I have irritable bowel syndrome diarrhea instead of irritable bowel syndrome constipation. When did you first experience your symptoms? I first experienced my symptoms back in May 2014, but I had slight symptoms back in high school. It just kind of went away and then came back, and um, my symptoms, I got really bloated a lot. I felt very uncomfortable. I noticed I was going to the bathroom a lot more than usual. I actually went to the bathroom about six times in one class, and I had diarrhea. So those are the symptoms that I've had. I noticed on the days that I eat more protein and fat that my IBS doesn't act up as much. And I also experience more stools in the morning, so I have to wake up a lot earlier to go to class and just start my day. What types of medications are you taking and how many times per day do you take them? So I'm taking 10 milligrams of dixiclomine three times a day. And I can take that on an empty stomach and with food. I just what it basically does is it blocks the receptors in the smooth muscle of the stomach and it just stops stomach spasms from happening and I experience stomach spasms a lot from just IBS in general. Are you aware of any nutrient interactions with that drug? The only nutrient interaction I can think of is alcohol and taking this drug just because it will cause more drowsiness and dizziness and it's just not safe to take alcohol with it. But my doctor never told me of any other nutrient and drug interactions. Do you have any side effects with the drugs that you take? Uh, with Dixiclomine, the side effects are dizziness, vomiting, and um, constipation and blurred vision. But with me, I only get the tingling in my hands and feet and dry mouth, so I drink a lot of water to help with that. What diets have you tried? So when I first saw the physician, he told me to try a two nutrient diet. So I tried broccoli and brown rice. And the diet worked, but it was lacking in protein. And just overall, it was there wasn't much flavor, but the satiety of it worked for me. But instead of doing that diet, I've tried a diet high in fiber and complex um, carbohydrates. And so for the most part, that one works. But because I'm also intolerant to gluten, which is wheat, rice, milk, barley, oats, and sometimes eggs, I have to modify my diet because of that as well. Have you tried the FODMAP diet where you avoid certain osmotic carbohydrates like fructose, fructans, lactose, galactans, and polyols that cause symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome due to malabsorption and fermentation? I haven't tried the FODMAP diet. I've actually never heard of it before. My physician never included that as one of his treatments. But to stop diarrhea, I have tried to not eat as many simple sugars and foods that are just high in sugars. What type of diet are you currently following? Currently, I eat um, small frequent meals, so I eat about five to six times a day. Um, an actual meal will look like um, I have a protein, a starch, and a vegetable, so I'll usually eat some chicken, brown rice, or I'll eat sweet potatoes and broccoli as my vegetable. But for a snack, I'll usually eat yogurt for the probiotics in it, um, nuts, or a small piece of fruit. And so, I'll, like I said, I'll eat that uh, five to six times a day. Who did you seek to get help for your condition? To get help for my condition, I first saw a, a nurse practitioner at Cal Poly, just because I couldn't go home and see my actual primary care physician. And she had me do a few lab tests to see if I had celiac or if I had some abnormal gut flora that was accumulating and causing all these symptoms. And uh, at Cal Poly, when I went to see a nurse practitioner for my symptoms, she had me actually do a stool sample, so which tested for parasites and abnormal gut flora. And everything came out negative. And so for the summer break, I went back home and had a meeting with my physician and had all the labs done again and he had just 
found that I was intolerant to gluten from the labs and that everything was normal. Does anyone else in your family have the same symptoms? No one else in my family has the same symptoms, just me. And did the doctors explain to you how or why you developed this condition? The doctor had just said that they don't know exactly why irritable bowel syndrome happens and that it could just be a genetic predisposition, predisposition excuse me, to the disease, but that was about it. So I've just learned everything about it from my classes or online through the internet. How has IBS and your gluten intolerance changed your life overall? Overall, um, it's changed my life a lot. Um, I used to eat not very healthy and I'm a lot more aware of what I'm eating just because things affect me differently than they used to. I don't eat out as much and I can't drink alcohol um, just because it does uh, have an effect on my IBS, so that's changed too. Can you tell the difference between IBS and gluten intolerance flare-ups? Uh, I actually can. With a gluten intolerance flare-up, I'll have a really loose stool that's very runny, it's like diarrhea, um, and then with IBS, the stools are a little more firmer, but still um, diarrhea-like. But with when I eat gluten, I actually throw up sometimes too, so that's what's different. Hmm. And has your diagnosis with IBS and gluten intolerance changed your career goals at all, being a nutrition major? Um, actually, I would say it has. At first, I wanted to be a dietitian, a registered dietitian, but now I'd like to become a nurse. Um, overall, I would just like to be in a field that helps people. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview with us, Melissa, today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for interviewing me.